Following the great exodus from Egypt to the land of promise, the children of Israel were governed by judges for a period of more than three centuries. These judges were then succeeded by a series of kings, the first of whom was Saul, anointed by the prophet Samuel. For decades, Saul enjoyed the adulation and support of the people. But then, lifted up in the pride of his heart, he disregarded the counsel of the Lord's prophet. At that point, Samuel reminded him of the time when he was little in his own sight and taught him that immortal lesson, to obey is better than sacrifice. From Saul's life, we learn that a leader must be humble and obedient. King Saul was succeeded by David, whose 40-year reign is considered by many to be the golden age of Israelite history. Indeed, Jerusalem became known as the city of David. But notwithstanding his great leadership abilities, David was tempted to commit a very grievous sin, which he then compounded with an even greater sin. From King David's life, we learn that even kings must be careful. Leadership positions do not totally protect us from temptation. Following the death of David, his son Solomon ascended to the throne. At the beginning of his reign, Solomon prayed in deep humility, O oh Lord my God, I am but a little child. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people. And God did give him a wise and an understanding heart. Armed with the Spirit of the Lord, Solomon became God's instrument in building the holy temple for which Israel had hoped and prayed for many generations. But with the passage of time, Solomon took him wives outside of Israel, and his wives turned away his heart, and he did evil in the sight of the Lord. From Solomon, we can learn that knowledge and wisdom alone do not qualify people to lead. Perhaps Jacob said it best, to be learned is good if they hearken unto the counsels of God. After Solomon's forty-year reign, his son Rehoboam went to Shechem to be made the king. He sought the counsel of the elders regarding how he should rule. And they spake unto him, saying, If thou wilt be a servant unto this people this day, and wilt serve them, and answer them, and speak good words to them, then they will be thy servant forever. The Savior gave his disciples similar counsel when he taught them, If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all and servant of all. Within the kingdom of God, to lead is to serve. But Rehoboam rejected the counsel which required him to humble himself and to serve others. Instead, he chose to reign over Israel with a very heavy hand, thus causing a great division into the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah.